everybody. I'm Jamie Kale Miller of Pandora Astrology in Berkeley, California. And I'm Julia Mikos, all of, also of Pandora, joining in from San Francisco. And today we're going to talk with you about the fact that Jupiter is going to move into Aquarius, which it's going to do on December 19th of 2020 after spending its year in Capricorn. And, um, and Jupiter spends about a year per sign. So uh, it'll, it'll move out of Aquarius in about uh, a year and a month uh, into uh, next year. And uh, Jupiter is all about expansion. It's about growth. It's about hope and positivity. Jupiter expands everything that it touches. And if you are, for example, a sun sign Aquarius, then at some point during the year, Jupiter is going to be transiting your sun. And that could feel pretty good. Um, so let's think out loud right now, Julia, about some of the Aquarian themes that Jupiter might be expanding on this year. Yeah, well, I think uh, when, when one thinks Aquarius, uh, they can think of social action, they can think mm. of politics, mm. uh, they can also think of technology mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> so I think of Aquarius as having to do with tribe, your sense of tribe, your sense of belonging, your sense of community, your friendships, and the friends that you hang out with, your network, if you will. And um, I think Aquarius is, is right in there uh, with, you know, both the feeling of belonging, but also the feeling of being a misfit, because Aquarius is also the sign of the the genius and genius is not always so stable, right? It's pretty edgy. And sometimes Aquarius goes over that edge into like crazy genius. So we could probably expect expansion of all of that, expansion of innovation and growth and development of things in the world of tech and, um, and people expanding their sense of uh, community and alignment with you know, tribes and groups that you feel a sense of belonging with. Um, what other thoughts are coming to you about this, Julia? Um, you know, Aquarius being such a social sign and such mm. a group oriented sign. Yeah. I think that when there's, uh, when, when we as a society get a better handle of the coronavirus, people are going to want to just get together. God, yes. <laughs> people are just going to want to get together <laughs> again. And bounce back way, hard, that, I'm we, thinking. <laughs> yeah, in, in whichever ways that's going to be safe and, you know, whatever the, whatever CDC regulated ways we're going to have to, you know, you know, handle the next stage of, of coming out of this whole thing. I yeah. think people are going to want to be with their, with their communities and with their people, um, almost as an antidote for all this isolation. Yeah, that sounds so true. Now, during the course of the year, <clears throat> Jupiter is going to move into Aquarius, and it's going to keep moving really fast. It'll move ahead into the sign of Pisces during May, and I'm just going to let this run by weeks. Here's Jupiter cruising along, and there it goes into Pisces, and it goes up to two degrees. Right about there, it goes retrograde during July, and then it's going to retrograde on out of Pisces and back into Aquarius um, in July. And uh, it'll continue retrograde all the way back to 22 degrees where it turns direct right here. I guess that was October. And then it'll finish out the year uh, in Aquarius. Now it's December and uh, there it moves into Pisces. Um, right at the beginning of uh, the end of the year and the turnover into January of 2022. So um, we're going to have mostly a year of Jupiter in Aquarius with a little bit of Pisces thrown in there. And um, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think what other thoughts we have. You know, um, it would be a really good idea for you to check out the video that we made about Saturn moving into Aquarius because Saturn and Jupiter have such a different feel and we will absolutely make a video for Saturn conjunct Jupiter coming in December because uh, they're going to sweep into Aquarius together essentially uh, when they form that conjunction and um, 
And so these two are going to just really be combining their themes, but I think we're not going to talk about that today. I think we're going to talk about that in another video. So you can absolutely expect growth and expansion and hope and positivity in the realm of, um, you know, as Julia, as you'd like to call it, the social contract, right? Aquarius is the social contract. And, um, and our experience of connectedness to groups and also probably innovation, particularly in tech, although not limited to that, um, people probably be a lot more inventive as long as Jupiter's in Aquarius. Do we have any other thoughts? I think we wrapped it up. I think we did. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And you can find more great stuff like this on our YouTube channel, Pandora Astrology, where we organize the news into video playlists by month. And you can also find your horoscope on our YouTube channel or on our website, pandoraastrology.com, where um, you can find us for readings or classes. And we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye-bye.